Let's go to the Mara. So we just arrived at Instinct of the Mara thanks to our amazing friend at Hungary Expeditions. If you're ever looking for a memorable safaris, make sure to check them out. We're going to put their information down below. Okay, so we're losing light really fast because we just arrived at 6. So we're not going to show you inside the tent now. Instead, we're going to go to the fireplace, have a sundowner for supper. But guys, did you know that our suite that we are in right now, there is a leopard that lives there. Fingers crossed we will be lucky enough to see him during our stay here, but we've never been this close to like where a leopard frequently visits and lives. Craziness. Let's go for safari back in Kenya. So something we really enjoy and that we're doing tonight is for supper we're all sitting at a communal table. It's really nice just to get to know everyone. So we are back in our tent after a mm -hmm. wonderful shower, oh, yeah. which was really hot and high pressure, worth mentioning. It's very good for a spark camp, <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> Otherwise, it was, it was really nice to have supper with everyone. Yeah. But people from like all around the world, yeah. like uh, Austria, Austria, India, Kenya, Germany. Germany. There's one more I'm forgetting. South Africa yeah. and Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, was a really cool. cool group. The food was super good as well. The steak was actually, I haven't talked to you about that yet, yeah, but like true. the steak was really, really good. And super the tender. strawberry mousse. Yes. Mwah, chef's yes. kiss. Agreed. Anyway, so we're going to go to bed because safari means early morning and we're going to be it's up like at 5.30. Oh, wow. That's soon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good night, guys. All the coffee. Just for me. Tracy, are you ready for the first game drive of 2023? I sure am. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. How are you? Fine, thank you.
So the conservancy where the camp is, is actually called Older Casey. And basically it's between Kenya and Tanzania. Tanzania. So you have the Maasai Mara, the Serengeti, and then you have this conservancy that's right in the middle. Believe it or not, not the entire border is actually protected. Some people actually own different plots of land. And this conservancy is crucial because otherwise other people could buy parts of this land, put fences everywhere, and then animals wouldn't be able to cross uh, anymore between the Maasai Mara and the Serengeti. Welcome to our breakfast spot. So we just set up for breakfast and we have so many animals. So we have a herd of elephants on the hill over there. We have a couple giraffes down there. And over to this side, we have some topies. It's just full of wildlife this morning. Something else that's really worth noting with Instinct of the Mara is that no matter the situation, you get your own truck. You get a truck, a guide, and a spotter. So it's just you and your own group, and you're in charge of your own day. So we have some beans, we have yogurt, canola, fruit, some crepes, toast, eggs, bacon, all the stuff you need for breakfast. So when we left this morning it was actually very dark so I didn't have the chance to like meet up with the crew. So we have Henry, Henry's our guide, oh, a nice yeah. guy. And we have Mako, he's our spotter, best one in the Masai Mara. By the way, Henry, uh, did anyone ever tell you that you're like the Kenyan Indiana Jones with the hat and the leather jacket? <laughs> no? Nobody. <laughs> Maybe you're I'm, the first to tell me I'm, that. I'm gonna call you Indiana from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we have Tracy. Hi Tracy. Hi. Every single time we go on the safari, somehow I always, always end up in the back of the truck alone. Probably because I want to film like left and right non-stop or something. Me every time. <laughs> so because this camp is actually in the Mara area, well, you can either stay in the conservancy or like right now, you can come inside the Mara National Reserve to, to have a different experience if you'd like. We'll probably do a day here and a day, whoa. In a day in the conservancy. I love the airstrip hustle here. It's so cool to see all the guys and, and the souvenirs there, the trucks, the planes coming in and out super fast. Anyway, we just got our tickets, so we're good to go. Something super important, I forgot. <sighs> so much better. I never ever forget my sunglasses. The entire morning I was like this, because it's very nice and sunny right now in Kenya. So were you guys even able to like recognize me without them? I feel like it's kind of part of my brand. Before we go to lunch, need to do a little leopard check. I don't see any. Gotta call the leopard out somehow. We'll try again later. So here's our plan for the rest. My garbage, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our plan for the rest of the day. So we're gonna go uh, have lunch at the main tent now. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're gonna show you guys our tent, which is probably the biggest tent we've ever stayed I'll in. Show you the main lodge too. The main lodge as well. Yep. And then we're gonna have an amazing sundowner, I think, because they have a very unique spot here. So I'm very excited for that. And then. But they do seem skeptical that it could rain, but it's complete clear sky. Yeah, yeah, I feel they, like they know something we don't know. They talked about rain, it's, it's pure blue sky. But they know better than us for <laughs> exactly. sure. So fingers crossed for that. And then we'll have a little special uh, dinner as well. Oh. So a lot to come. 
Okay, for a starter, we actually have a cold soup. And I'm gonna be honest, cold soup's not my cup of tea. I don't like cold soup at all. And this one is tomato and orange. Let me tell you. I Sorry, it, I don't like orange in like pretty much anything apart from like orange itself. And somehow, it's pretty good. It works. <laughs> like it's actually the first cold soup I've liked. I kept like interrupting David and be like, you need to try it. He was talking to me, I'm like, just stop and eat your soup. Yeah. <laughs> my compliments to the chef. Yes. <laughs> So we had the soup. Now for our main, we have stir fried chicken and three different salads. And this is a big plate for lunch. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this all. So after I saw that, then they brought over a pizza. <laughs> it actually looks really good. I can't wait to try that. <laughs> Guys, a side of pizza? Are you serious? That's pretty good. It just brought us a, an extra plate of uh, chicken stir fry just in case we wanted more. Tracy, can I offer you some? I can't even finish my plate. <laughs> it's a lot of food. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> so now it's finally time to show you around the lodge. So let's go. So when you enter the lodge, you come into a main area here. This is kind of where we did like our check-in and everything. Over here we have a bar, a little place to sit while you have your drink as well. So then you come on the other side of the main tent and you have a seating area here. Inside there as well is where we have all of our meals and then another seating area outside the bar area as well. Come down here, and this was my favorite spot last night. Um, we had a nice little fireplace with some tables and chairs around. And even here, like the open area, there's a light in that tree. So it kind of shines out if there's any game that comes around. So you're still able to see animals. Oh, fun fact, not fenced. <laughs> so as you probably noticed when we talked about the cheetah being outside, not cheetah, sorry, leopard, um, they're still crossing our fingers that maybe we'll see it, but yes, this is definitely a wild camp. Now let's go see our tent. To give you an idea of how secluded and how privatized this is, um, as we said earlier, you get your own safari driver, guide, spotter, that type of thing on vehicle. But actually, there's only seven tents no, sorry, nine tents total on property. So there's seven normal, I think they call them deluxe tents, and then there's two luxury tents on top. So we have a luxury tent, it is called Four Suite. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you around that. But yes, everything is just we personally really like smaller camps and this is the perfect place for us. Welcome to our suite. So I'm gonna be honest, it's basically like the size of a house, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so in the foyer here, you have a little area, you can put your luggage there or anything you want. You even have like a full coat rack area that you can hang up your stuff. And then in the living room, yeah, so I said living room in this suite, you have a seating area and we'll go to the balcony here in a minute. So as you notice, this is kind of the central part and then you have a room on either side. We're gonna show you this side for right now because the other side we've been sleeping in and it's not as nice anymore because we put our stuff everywhere. Let's go. Um, so we have a king size bed here and you still have tent flaps everywhere so you don't have to worry about that. It's actually cooler on the wings, a lot more airflow. And there's a little bureau desk there. Now into the bathroom, let me get the light on, hold on. <laughs> you have a shower there and as you said last night really good shower pressure and hot water double sink toilet and then we're back around so you have robes and stuff as well um, this place also is run solely off solar power as far as I can see I've never heard a generator kick on I will confirm if there is any kicking in so just watch your stuff that you're plugging in and things like that they don't have coffee machines just coffee presses little things like that eco-friendly. Oh, let's show you inside because I gotta show you my bathtub. Come outside. Through the living room area, we have two loungers here. Over on this side, sorry, I'm gonna do the other one for last. Um, you might see more of this tonight. I'm hoping the weather kind of turns out okay, but we're hoping to have our own private fire and private dining here as well. You're able to do that when you stay here. 
kind of dining wherever you want. Then over on this side in front of our room is a bathtub. So if everything turns out right, we might actually have a bathtub tonight. I don't know how we're gonna fit this all in, but we will try. <laughs> They're always right on the weather. It's like they have like the weather app in their brain or something. I didn't believe them when they were saying oh, like, yeah. oh, it might rain. I was like, come on, blue so sky, there's blue zero, sky zero, sky, zero uh, clouds in the sky. Yeah. And they were like, we'll see. And now it's covered. We, Tracy actually heard like thunder. thunder in the distance, yeah, yeah. So, and now it's a mix of everything. Let's hope, because oh, I want to see that good spot for the sunset. I'm a sucker for a good sunset. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> they even cleaned the truck in between the two drives. Yes. So we're now starting our climb up the hill. I believe it's called Hill Older, Older Casey? Older Casey Hill. Perfect, got it. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I don't think the camera does it justice, but the hill is like <laughs> this. It's really steep. Welcome to our sundown spot. Big up for uh, Instinct of Namara. This is probably the nicest sundowner spot we've say seen. Top three. Definitely top three for sure. Top three. Yeah. Yeah, I like that like you're on the top of a hill, but it's not just that like it's not just right in front of you You have like a full view. Yeah, almost 360. Yeah, so it's not like you can see all over the plains. It's gorgeous I'm a fan. Yeah Really well, you So this game goes above and beyond in terms of like sundowner snacks because they have yes. full on lamb legs that they're doing over the fire. I think my part to that too though is like culturistically they have a really nice way of integrating yeah. the Maasai culture while still keeping everything. I don't know like I'm, yeah. I'm kind of speechless right now I'm a little bit lost for words and yeah. like high five. <laughs> like do you, do you want to do it with me? There you go. <laughs> So I thought we were having supper back at our tent. They put the lamb over the fire and I was like, maybe it's for sundowner. Turns out it's actually for our main meal. They just started handing around soups as well. So I think we're just having supper here in the wild. I really like that, it's super cool. See you later guys, you. thank you so much. So as we said earlier, we thought we were having a private dinner, but it turned out to be way better up there, don't get me wrong. So we came back here to have a little glass of wine and they also prepared some pasta. So we're gonna sit here and if we have a strong enough light, I would love to look to the leopard. But yeah, you can have your dinner right here on your own terrace.
Okay, I thought that was it because we heard a bunch of baboons starting to scream like crazy. And I'm pretty, we're both pretty sure that it was probably because the leopard was around. I yeah. went out there, I checked with my flashlight and everything, but couldn't see anything. We don't but, have like a spot flashlight. That's yeah. kind of the problem. And it's very dense bushes as well. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Kind of leopard there. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, uh, we have, we're going to try another of their offering. So we don't have to wake up super early, which oh, I'm pretty pumped glorious. about. So yeah, we'll see you guys then. Gotta check for leopards. There was a lot of noise last night. Those baboons, they were not happy about something. <laughs> so this morning we were doing a little bush walk. We are on our way to the river where we're gonna have a beautiful breakfast apparently. Yeah. And yeah, it's just something different. Yeah, and like walking there versus driving and stuff. Yeah, they were like, do yeah, you wanna drive? Nice. We're like, no, let's walk. Oh, and confirmation. All the baboons that were going off last night and even in the middle of the night, yeah. it was because there was a leopard. That's there. what everyone is saying. <laughs> So we heard that the bush breakfast was in the river and I had no expectations because I was very intrigued of like, how is this gonna happen? We came down here, it is stunning. This is definitely our top bush breakfast. So first I want to send a huge thank you to Angari Expeditions for sending us out here. It turned out to be a fantastic Definitely first weekend back. a top tier trip. Yes. No questions asked. So once again, the camp is Instinct of the Mara by Secluded Africa. The same collection basically as a cardamom house that you might the have seen. Room. We're going to link it down below. Yeah. That collection is just amazing for multiple reasons. First of all, there are smaller properties, which Tracy yeah. and I really, really love. It's more private. It feels exclusive. And the service is just by default better. Yeah. Um, so one thing I have to say, like we've met both people who like own and manage these properties and the passion just shines through. Yeah. And it's something that when people are passionate, there's always attention to little details that if you're running it just as a business that you would never put in. Yeah. Um, so for here, it's the culturistic aspects that are just kind of sprinkled in and around your entire stay. And it's fantastic. Like the supper last night, yeah. even roasting over the fire, like... This breakfast this morning, oh I mean, man. the spot is outstanding. We've talked to the owner, Richard, of this place, and he was telling us that he's not trying to have a five-star resort and five-star yeah. dining. Well, don't be deceived by whatever you yes. see online. Don't be deceived by whatever he's saying. This is a top-tier camp for yeah. us. This is our 40th safari, so we know what we're talking about. Yeah. And yeah, we will be back. And we, we really want to see more of Secluded Africa because so far the two properties have been some of our favorite. Yes. So if you want to come to this place or book any other memorable safaris, make sure to check out Hungary Expeditions. We're going to put the description down below and otherwise see you guys in the next one.